I am Dr. Joy Blumwini, founder of the Algorithmic Justice League. In this video, I present an overview of our report, Comply to Fly, How Airport Travelers Experience TSA's Facial Recognition Experiment. I'm privileged to be joined by Shushma Rahman and Andrea Dean as co-authors of this report. The Transportation Security Administration plans to expand airport base scans to all domestic airports in the United States. Yet questions remain as bipartisan lawmakers interrogate the necessity and effectiveness of the program. Tonight, some senators are calling for restrictions on airports using facial recognition. We really don't know how a future government will use or misuse this technology. In the summer of 2023, AJL launched the TSA scorecard. In 2024, we held the first summit to educate the public about the right to opt out. In May 2025, staffers from a government oversight board issued a report detailing a six-year analysis of TSA's facial recognition exploration. Despite growing concerns, there is sparse information on how this TSA experiment with facial recognition is being received by the traveling public. AJL's report responds to this gap, providing the first comprehensive study on travelers' experiences with TSA airport face scans. Our objectives with this report are to one, capture travelers' lived experiences with airport face scans, two, document patterns of concern about the program implementation, three, create greater public awareness on the implications of using airport face scans and four, provide recommendations for the TSA and policymakers. Since launching the scorecard, we have received over 860 submissions. For this report, we focus on the 420 TSA scorecards analyzed from the period of March 2024 to June 2025, covering 91 domestic airports to align with the time period the Oversight Board deemed the TSA's program operational. The findings from the report are as follows. When it comes to transparency, 56% of respondents did not see opt-out information on airport signage about TSA's facial recognition program, and 74% said they did not receive clear notice about the program. These gaps in transparency are echoed by traveler testimonials. One key conclusion is that many travelers are experiencing what's meant to be a voluntary pilot as a mandatory requirement. When it comes to consent processes around the use of facial recognition, we found 99% of respondents shared they did not receive any verbal information about the right to opt out of the program. 51% of respondents reported they were unable or too uncomfortable to act on the right to opt out. A closer look revealed that 48% of those who shared they did not opt out did not know opting out was an option, and 28% of travelers were scanned before they even had the chance to opt out. These findings show inconsistent opt-out consent processes. Many travelers don't even know they have the right to opt out or are scanned anyway. The TSA guidelines share that each traveler is to be shown respect by agency officers. When it came to the respondents who reported on their treatment, 67% of respondents reported negative treatment by TSA officers. Negative experiences included being verbally ridiculed, shamed with body language, told it was too late to opt out, or being provided incorrect information. While some travelers empowered by education campaigns were able to opt out simply, others faced negative responses from TSA officers. Our findings reveal that some travelers experience poor treatment, including verbal abuse and hostile body language. Eighty-seven percent of travelers shared some kind of concern. 
33% of respondents who indicated concerns about the program shared concerns about data handling. Based on these findings, the Algorithmic Justice League presents three sets of recommendations further detailed in the report. The recommendations cover the areas of preserving freedom and privacy, promoting informed decision making, and preventing and redressing disrespectful treatment. Most importantly, the Algorithmic Justice League recommends a halt of the TSA's use of facial recognition to allow for public deliberation and to address the concerns raised by the traveling public, civil society organizations, bipartisan elected officials, and even the U.S. government's own Privacy and Civil Liberties Oversight Board. Visit AJL.org flyreport to read the full report and recommendations.